budgeting in Nigeria. Indeed. Okay. Uh, now, the presidency uh, intends to spend 1.6 billion naira on new cars. Uh, some people would actually say it's misplaced priority. What's your take on this? Yeah, generally, it, 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 it's important to criticize government, <laughs> but it's nice to do it constructively. Right. And one thing, by God's will, that makes us researchers, economists, as we call ourselves, it's not just the BSC, MSC, PhD that we have, but it's the knowledge of how the economy works, the public sector and the private sector. Mm -hmm. There's how government works. And the presidency, which is the state house, has a lot of departments. You know, on, on the budget, you just see state house or presidency. But, but there's VP office, there's president's office, there's chief of staff office, there's office for the SDGs, office for MDGs, the state house clinic, a lot of departments. There are some internal security operations that goes on there. There's uh, the, 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 a lot of sectors. Mm. So that amount you are saying, don't forget, the kind of vehicles that may be used in the presidency might have to be bulletproof. Mm. And with the exchange rate going on right now, these cars, for now, despite the effort we are making through innocent vehicles and the rest, a large chunk of it is still coming, still requires exchange rate to get to procure them. And exchange rate right now is not smiling. It's not smiling at all. The thing is, it's sad. It's really sad. So the presidency just have to use that amount. I'm not just fine to say that the amount is okay. But the best they can do is to see, is to auction if there's any department that's replacing cars, so they can auction it so that revenue, auctioning of cars will become a revenue generating activity for state house. Mm. So they re auction cars and remit back to consolidated revenue and it goes back. So they need to be open in terms of what they also, how, what they do to minimize expenditure and how they generate their own revenue. So that Nigerians will not just be hired on them, mm. that we are putting one billion for cars. Cost. But they should also uh, come out to put out information. Revenue generated from auctioning of last year or 10 years ago is a social amount and that will be remitted to consolidated revenue account and mm. to be used to address insecurity or something like that. So there needs okay. to be open budget process, especially for the state house. And if possible, they should make their procurement process very clear mm. because procurement will make it clear for you to know which car is getting what amount, the, uh, the importation cost, the registration cost, mm. and the landing cost and all those things like that. But in general, it's important to prioritize projects that are for development. But these projects are, 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 are implemented by people. Mm. And it's, no one will be happy to hear that the people representing our country are just are being killed through very sad and cheap means. Right. So that bulletproof car for most of these agencies is part of the security and, and measure. Mm -hmm. So, but it's, like I said, which I really want to emphasize, mm. there's need for open reporting on how auctions are conducted in government agencies, mm. especially the presidency, and revenue generated from them should also be made public mm. so that people will see that they too are making effort mm. to improve their own internal um, revenue generating activity.